Selling is so important, but it's a challenge for many of us. This is especially true when it comes to making a face-to-face -face sale. Remember the three C's, connection, communication, confidence. Connection, you're a person. Even if you're in B2B sales, you're still selling to a person or people. You all have lives, families, goals, and you're all trying your best. Connect with the person that you're selling to. Ask about their weekend, not because you want to make the sale, but because you want to make the connection. Listen more than you speak. Asking open-ended questions about what your potential customer or client needs is the key. They'll respond positively when they see that you're truly interested in what they need instead of just what they have to offer. Communication. The way you communicate can make or break a sale. This does not mean that you have to sell your product or service at any cost. Be upfront, be clear and concise, let the interested party know why you feel that your product or service can help them and what value you can deliver. But also let them know the parameters, expectations, goals, and results. And if as the conversation evolves, you realize that your product or service really may not be the best fit, that's okay. Let them know. You probably don't want to make the sale anyway if it doesn't offer value to both you and your customer or client. Confidence. Remember when I said that you need to believe in your product or service? This is why. You can feel confident in yourself if you know what you're selling is worth the investment. You aren't here to sell at any cost or to make money no matter what. You're here to offer something valuable to someone that needs it. And you know what lines you won't cross. You've got your own back and you've got your clients and customers backs too. Lead with that confidence and your potential customer or client will see it and will be much more comfortable making the purchase. And when all is said and done, let them know that you'd love to work with them and don't forget to ask for the sale. You've got this. Another great tip is to provide value upfront. Educate your clients. I do this with every consultation that I'm in and I'm able to book 90% of the people in my consultations, if not more. For example, with selling wedding photography or videography, one of the things I always do is I talk them through their timeline for their day. I let them know that my package covers X hours and that I don't want to overcharge them for my services. So what I'll do is I'll break down their wedding day and help them figure out when their ceremony might be, how long that's going to last, how long a receiving line might take, and when they should plan on dinner starting. Or for example, like when to put their dress on. With my knowledge of what a wedding day generally looks like, we're able to figure out what their day is probably going to look like. So they're able to plan ahead accordingly. And so they see me as a helpful and caring vendor before they even might decide to book. A lot of people will book even on the spot because of this. I get compliments on this all the time. People are like, hey, this was so helpful. Thank you so much. And nine times out of 10, those people are booking with me. I also do this with my marketing clients as well. Lean into education and provide value before you know that you're going to make the sale. It helps build that know, like, and trust factor.